All right, guys, I've recorded like 15 of these. I keep screwing it up. What's going on, Shell Nation? Welcome back to another adventure. What's going on, Shell Nation? Welcome back to another take number 32. What's up, Shell Nation? Welcome back. Thank you for being here, guys. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe and the bell, guys, so that way you get notifications when I uh, put out some more crazy adventures and other lunacy things that I'm doing. I'm looking down right now because I got my forge firing up. I made a $20 forge, guys, and it's I've shown you in past live streams. We've melted down some aluminum. Today, we're going to turn that aluminum into some kind of art. Plus, we're going to melt a few other things, guys. So stay tuned. All right, so we are getting our fire ready, setting the camera up. We're going to make some metal art, a little bit of pouring metal. I've got a friend of mine who would really love that, Mr. Mark Fun Jones. Show yeah, Mr. Mark Fun Jones. We're going to make some fart. He's got a channel. He makes a lot of beautiful art, guys. He's an incredible painter. Let's see if we can get this fire kicked up a little bit higher. Uh, but he has a channel and he does fart, fun art. But today... We're going to do metal fart. But we got to get this fire started. We'll throw in one more piece of paper and that should do it. All right, so this is my $20 forge. It's just a steel bucket with some past plaster of Paris. Um, I have a black steel pipe with just a hairdryer. For my lid, I'm actually using a rotor. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read text message because people want to text me right now. So this is my $20 forge, guys. My wife's going to kill me. That's her hair dryer. So let's get this fired up. Stir some of these coals around. I only use coals. I don't use gas. So we'll get that nice and hot. We're going to kick this on high. We're going to drop that lid. The nice thing about using this rotor, and I'm going to show you. I've got crucibles that I've ordered. When I ordered my crucible, it looked so much bigger in the picture. Yeah. Be careful what you order, guys. That little crucible is not going to melt down too much. So, I have these steel cups. Just a thick steel cup welded on a handle. But the nice thing about this thick, thick steel cup and this rotor is that fits perfect to heat up and it's still got some vent holes. So you're not going to choke your fire. How awesome is that? That works out perfect right there. A rotor on top of a $20 forge makes a great lid. But for right now, to get that fire going, we're going to back that off because I want to stir this fire real quick Here's a cool angle from inside the furnace. I love the little vent holes. 
that the uh, rotor makes for me. Get a lot of good airflow. Rotor actually makes it great. You can turn it upside down for a lower top, give you a bowl shape, or you put it up like that, give you a nice dome inside, which I got that handle in there, so that works out perfect. Right now we're just burning the smoke off. All the, I use fresh coal straight out of the ground. So I gotta burn all that tar and all the, the nastiness off of it. That hunk has not melted one bit. Huh. This was a real pain to get started today because the coal was real moist. It had a lot of moisture in the air from the last couple days of rain. So it was a real hard uh, process to get this started today. But now, it doesn't seem to want to get hot enough. Let me take this lid off for a second and readjust my cup inside. My readjuster. There we go. That's sitting nice and flat. Let's see if that metal is melted it all in there. Okay, we got a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and drop in the chunks that you've seen before. I've made these in live streams, kind of heated it up. Yeah, that's a little dinosaur right there. I molded out of sand. We're going to drop them on in, guys. Say bye. Watch them melt. Really cool angle you can see from here. Tried to show you that angle, guys. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to put that melted aluminum into these beads. You've seen it done a million times, but you've never seen it done for art. You've seen it done for science. We're going to let that metal melt real quick and we'll be right back. There's a really cool angle. We'll hold it for a second. Look at that. That cup is red hot. Awesome. So let's go ahead and check on the metal real quick. See if we're melted up. Oh yeah. We're getting a nice pool of aluminum in there, guys. We got a little bit more to melt. And then we'll pour. That's not been recording the whole time. Oh no. It still hasn't popped, guys. That's got a tremendous amount of heat, though. 
I can see the top is bubbled. But it is still not blown up. This is becoming one fail after another, guys. What the heck? Oh. Now we're going to get really dangerous, guys. Eggs. I can still hear that can popping. I don't think I want to go any closer. I braved it enough. There you have it guys. We had an epic fail on our art. We got to work on that guys. Unfortunately, I put it in a plastic container. I thought maybe the beads would have kept it cold enough to where it wouldn't have melted the sides. I was wrong, but I made up for it with an awesome explosion. Guys, what'd you think of that? That was incredible. There was so much shrapnel. Who thought a can had that much power? Be careful. That was just a can of something, beans, soup, something. But guys, be careful. Cans are dangerous. They are explosive little bombs. Guys, have a great day. And as always, show yeah.